You know about this? Uh, no. Let's see if they've got a file on a crane. Ichabod Crane. He owes the crooked man money. Shit. How was he planning to pay this all back? Request for property acquisition. Further details filed under donkey skin. Crane hired them to look for a photo? Why did he want it back so badly? So that's why they were at her apartment. And the woodsman's place. See, I knew you wouldn't find anything. Anything of interest, anyways. They're, they're detectives, like I said. Just, just trying to make an honest living. Just stay out of this. I have work to do. I'm just saying. Look, just trust me on this. Tweedledee and Dumb are not nice. They're not helping anyone. Well, they helped me. Okay, great, they helped you. That's one person. Now, please, just let me concentrate here. Detective Brannigan? Keep an eye on her. This is worse than I thought. Shit. Find anything? Not what I need. W what, if, what if you're wrong about them? I'm not. They're misunderstood, sure, but that doesn't mean everything people say about them is true. I mean, you know, like when I think about it, you guys aren't that different. You help people, and they help people. Not that it's any of my business, but... I just wanted to say, you know, give him a chance. Is that what you think? Bigby? Shit. There's something here. I know there is. There has to be. Why would there be anything because to... Because they're lying to you, okay, Flycatcher? That's why. They aren't detectives. They shot at Snow White. Bigby, what happened to your... You want to know what this is? This is them showing up to Lily's funeral with fucking shotguns! I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, 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 I didn't know. Holly and Gren both got injured. Snow White nearly got her head blown off. Do you get it now? <sighs> I, I didn't mean to... There's a door behind this file cabinet. Now, I don't know what they keep back here, but it might be what you're looking for. Well, that key you found should work. Wow. 
J.D. A book. What are you looking for exactly? Maybe I can help. Anything about Crane. Or the witch he was using. Something. This doesn't really tell us much. I'm sorry, I know I'm late. I'll get it to you soon. Ichabod Crane. Who was he sending money to? Crooked man. Care of the Lucky Pawn. Do you know what that is? Is that what you needed? I don't think so, but it's interesting. There's more going on here. I still need to find that witch, though. Butcher? What is this stuff? Hold for BCW. What is that? No idea. Pretty sure it's something they aren't supposed to have. This isn't the witch, though. Hey, Bigby. Do you think, after all this, do you think I could come back to the woodlands? Since Crane let me go, I mean, I can still work here, but I don't think I want to now. I don't want to work with bad people, you know? Well, Crane is gone now. I, I can't see why he couldn't come back to the woodlands. Really? That would be... thank you. Come by the business office. I can't make any promises. Right, of course. Snow's hair. Snow White? Why w We found her hair like this inside Lily's glamour. Anti-Greenleaf. This must be the witch Crane was using. I guess Dee and Dumb were getting the hair for Crane and sending it to her? That's not a pleasant thought. There's no address on it. So, so what now? Snow would probably want to know about this. I'll check in with the business office. Maybe there's a record of anti green leaf. I think I saw a phone near the back. Thanks. You're welcome, Sheriff. Business office, this is Snow White. Hey, Snow. Oh, it's you. Sorry, I've been answering angry phone calls for hours. People want to know where Crane is. How'd it go with the Tweedle brothers? No address yet, but I got a name for Crane's witch, Anti Greenleaf. You heard of her? No. I'll get Buffkin started looking for a record, but it might take some time. Huh. Somebody's got to know where to find her. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fabled Town. Of course, because why half ass being a complete sleazeball? Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter yet. We still have to find him. I think it's connected. Maybe the girls found out about it? I don't know. Hmm, maybe. You might want to try Holly's place, see if she hasn't burned Lily's things yet. Or Crane's, you might find something there. Although, Bluebeard's been there. I'll leave it up to you, but we don't have much time. Crane is meeting her at 2 a.m.
I'll go to the Trip Trap, see about Lily's things. I think that's our best option. Sounds good. Just... just be gentle with Holly when you get there, okay? <sighs> I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Bigby, I have to go. Someone just came in. Good luck. <laughs> She's asleep, you fucking idiot. You didn't even give me a chance to explain. What's... Guys, it's me, Bigby. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Well, come on in, buddy. Friend. What? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah. I'll only be here two minutes. I just need to check through Lily's things. <laughs> Whatever. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it with... You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Grant, really, you, you shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you mumble. Swinehart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? The doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. Have you seen her sister's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? I saw her come in with something, but I didn't see where she put it. Nope, haven't seen it. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. Talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They got away though, didn't they? Whatever. It's alright. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. To the dead. All right, now help me. Grand. The doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, alright? I can't do anything about it, it's done! <laughs> what more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? I absolutely cannot babysit you dumbasses right now! 
end whatever this is, so we can just move past it. Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a lowlife. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. I think whatever happened was between them, and Lily is dead. So let's put this whole thing to rest, Gren. Gren. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the rule. I thought you said you would help me look. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. gonna leave. You do what you want. You always do what you want. Do you even give a shit about us? The strays? The ones that aren't in that fancy high-rise. Those of us that gotta work for a living. Holly, just because I live in the woodlands doesn't mean I'm not one of your strays. I'm not Crane or Cole. I didn't exactly grow up wearing clothes. Yeah, I know you didn't.
Why do you even come here? There's nothing here to investigate. I can't be any use to you. I'm just... I'm tracking a lead. To Crane? Yeah. Be honest, Sheriff. Why are you going after him? Crane. You could have quit a long time ago, but you're still going. Why? Did they give you this job for a reason? Or was this the only thing the business office would let you do? I'm doing this for faith. Oh, at least you're honest. You just remember. Whatever bullshit excuse you tell yourself, I'm counting on you. So don't have any more fuck-ups. If you were getting your glamour on this day, then one of these has to be the witch. Auntie Greenleaf. Gotcha. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Oh, thank God. Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on, uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. Let's get going. Crane's meeting her in a few minutes. All right, let's go. I don't want to miss him. I'll meet you there. All right, I'll see you there. Big B! I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. This is it. All right. How do you want to do this? Wait, 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 wait! What are you doing? What does it look like? Don't just kick it in! We don't know what's on the other side. Let's just save the last resort for last. Make sense? Fine, okay. What would you have me do instead? I don't know. Knock? I mean, we have no idea what's behind this... Hello? Hi. You woke me up. Uh, sorry about that. Is something wrong? I don't think I've ever seen you before. Who are you? Rachel, who are you? Just so... we're not strangers. I'm Bigby. This is Snow. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? Is there, um, is there anything you need? We're looking for a man. A skinny, pale, nervous fella. Have you seen him? My art teacher says men are a waste of time. Do you go to school? Sometimes. Is there uh, something you want? I don't think I can really help you. Snow, can you just do something here? I, I never have any idea what to say to these people. You mean children? <sighs> do you mind if my friend here takes a look around? I promise we'll be quick so you can hurry back to bed. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Okay, Snow, I'm gonna trust your friend not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. Look for anything unusual. Yeah, like Crane. He could still be here. Your mama, Hunter? Oh no, she never... 
That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain, I think. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. That your mom? Uh huh. No one's been over all night, so. He's just going to check. It'll only take a moment. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? Not here. There's no one here but me. Where do you buy your clothes? At a store. Oh, my mommy makes all of mine. Nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? I saw a spider over there yesterday. The Butcher. What's that? A package. Having to do with someone called the Butcher. I saw one just like it at the Tweedle's office. God damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now, please? Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I've tried. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. you don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Look, I'm already grounded. Snow, come on. Are you kidding? It's a glamour tube. Something's going on here. No! Put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! You gotta believe me. That guy isn't here, I promise! It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna... I don't wanna get in trouble. <laughs> Anti-green leaf. It hurts when you do it that fast. What? Not sprightly enough? You picked the wrong night to lie to me. No more lying, no more ring around the rosy, no more bullshit non sequiturs. You're done. It's over. You're gonna tell me what I wanna know right now. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. None of this pathetic witchcraft crap is gonna prevent me from prying what I need from your gullet. Now tell me where Crane is. I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew, there's nothing I know that would help. You're an accomplice to murder, do you realize that? You might want to check your facts on that. Doesn't matter. I can't help you. I have no interest in being turned into a skink and crushed under boot heels. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something... We can protect you, okay? Whatever it is you're afraid of, we can make sure that it won't come to pass. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. 
This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the Fables, who can't afford the glamours from you, come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could oh, don't go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two Fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. Isn't there another way? She's a witch. Can't she just work for us? That way she'd be official. You want to reward her for criminal behavior? We can't trust this woman on the 13th floor. It doesn't matter, because I'd never do it. I'm not a house cat, and I don't play well with others. Oh, trust me, no one would confuse you for a cuddly animal. Bigby, this is an order. Burn the tree. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here, and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girl's speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Big B. Please, Sheriff. Today's your lucky day, Greenleaf. I'm hiring you as the business office's newest witch in residence. B Big B! The witches over there will keep her out of trouble, and, and we have a glamour shortage as it is. It makes the most sense now. And you get to keep your fucking tree. Just don't expect me to bow down to your little woman here. Don't think for a second that this is over. Uh, so what? Are moving trucks gonna show up here or something? Something like that. We'll call you. 